Okay, so um, I'm CC from CC Restyled, and I have a video on YouTube about uh, printing your own rub-on transfers at home um, on your inkjet printer. So this is kind of a follow-up video to that tutorial. Apparently some people want to see a little closer up the application of the um, adhesive part to the transfer area. So I'm going to do that slower and more close up with a little more explanation in case anyone is having problems with that um, part of the process. So um, if you haven't seen that video and you're watching this one, I'm not going to go over the printing part um, except basically you use an inkjet printer on the Sunny Scopa um, rub-on transfer paper from Amazon or directly from Sunny Scopa, but you want to print on your inkjet, laser jet will uh, melt the paper. So you want to use the inkjet directly to the uh, glossy side of the transfer sheet. Okay, so that's the glossy side and the matte side. So you want to print to the glossy side. Okay, so we've already done that. We reverse our image um, and then we print it to the glossy side. So that's dry. It only takes a few minutes to dry, but you want to let it dry. You want to let the ink dry. And then um, in the package with the transfer paper, you'll also get the corresponding number of these you know super glossy sheets which this holds the adhesive this clear sheet um, has the adhesive on it and then this backing sheet you will use to replace that on your transfer until you're ready to use it so assuming you've already got those parts done the printing and all of that which you can find steps to in my previous video um, this is where I guess some people are having some issues so I'll try to walk you through it a little bit better so you want to lay it down on a dust-free, clean surface um, with your printed side up, okay? So you want the glossy side up that you printed on. And when you are removing the adhesive layer to apply it, you wanna make sure that you are, sometimes it wants to stick to the backing paper, so you have to make sure you're pulling the adhesive. Okay, so see how that's kind of like um, frosted looking, that's the adhesive. So if it's clear, completely clear and not frosted looking, you need to put it back together and grab, you know, kind of use your nail to grab onto that um, sticky. See the stickiness? You want to grab onto the adhesive. And what I like to do is, uh, instead of peeling it apart like this, I like to lay it down, okay, like this, because sometimes it takes on a life of its own. It wants to go wonky and fly everywhere. So I just pull back um, carefully the white sheet okay this white sheet which you want to save okay you want to hang on to this so I set it aside and then very carefully I grab my adhesive sheet just like that and I like to start by laying down the middle and then I work my way out that way you can avoid bubbles and or minimize getting the bubbles and wrinkles and stuff in it. So I didn't get that one completely on center, oops, but that's okay because as long as it covers my image, I'm good. So what I like to do is take a, um, oh, wooden stick, credit card, popsicle stick, transfer tool. Um, I'm using this little plastic transfer tool guy and just going over it to rub that adhesive on there and also smooth out any bubbles or wrinkles because you don't want those and get the adhesive just to stick to the transfer image. Okay, so this is a part where I think people are having some issues. Okay, so after you do that, <coughs> excuse me, now what you need to do is you need to peel, <coughs> excuse me, the clear sheet away from the transfer and the transfer should have the adhesive on the transfer side. Okay, so, um, so you wanna pe peel this clear sheet away and have the adhesive. See how the adhesive is sticking to the transfer side? Maybe you'll see it better in a second. Okay, see how this sheet is completely clear now? It's because the adhesive has come off of it. It's not any longer on this clear sheet. It was frosted before when it had the adhesive on it and now the adhesive is stuck on the transfer side. Can you see it a little bit in the glare? Okay, so again, I like to lay that down and do it so it doesn't flop around everywhere and ruin my transfer. So I like to peel it kind of flat like this. And you may need to kind of hold that adhesive sheet in place just a little bit. Sometimes it moves around. I just hold it in place with my nail if need be. And 
then that sheet we set aside earlier from um, the adhesive sheet that we pulled off, it's got a textured side and it's got a smooth side, okay? You don't wanna put the smooth side back on here. You wanna put the textured side back on the adhesive layer um, so that after you cut it to shape or to size, then um, you know you can just have it hang on to it till it's ready to use and you don't have to worry about ruining your adhesive. So we're gonna give that a once over with our little tool here. You can use again a popsicle stick, credit card, anything kind of flat. Okay, so this is our transfer now, but even though this is clear, clear uh, printer material, I want to, um, I want to cut around my shape, okay? I leave about an eighth of an inch of clear all the way around the entire image. Um, a, you won't be able to see, that way you won't be able to see sharp or corner edges. Um, it'll disappear easier and it gives you um, about an eighth of an inch to kind of hold on to it while you're placing it, laying it down and putting it in place. It gives you something to hold on to without worrying about messing up your ink or pulling at the, your image, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna cut about, let's see, an eighth of an inch all the way around. It doesn't have to be exact, but just roughly. The point is you want a little bit of clear, but not too much. Too much will show not good. Not enough, you won't have anything to grab onto, bad. Okay, so almost all the way around our image. And uh, one thing that I should add is you want to you want to put these transfers on a light surface. If you try to put on black or a dark surface, it'll just kind of disappear um, unless you have white ink in your printer, which is not very common. Um, so I doubt that's going to be the case. Okay, see, I have about an eighth of an inch all the way around of clear. Okay, so when I go to place this, let's go ahead and. Um, Move you over here so you can see where I'm going to place it. Let me make sure I've got it in the right spot. So it's going to go, it's going to go right here in this corner, roughly. Um, so make sure your surface is free of dust and debris, and make sure you have it the right side up so it will go like this. And when you're peeling away your backing paper, which is that white sheet, uh, you want to be careful. Sometimes your adhesive wants to stick to the white backing sheet. Okay, so you want to just peel it away gently and sometimes you need to use your fingernail or your finger to hold the adhesive sheet onto the transfer. See, I'm, I'm having luck here. See how it's sticking, the adhesive is on the transfer side. See how it's kind of frosted? It's not on here. We want the adhesive to be on the printed side. But sometimes it doesn't want to stick so you have to kind of hold your fingernail down and hold that adhesive in place, okay? But in this case, it's not doing that, but just know that sometimes it likes to move around. But once you get it stuck, you're golden. Okay, so let's make sure we're right side up. We want to place it down in this corner. And it's super sticky, so once you've got it, uh, you know, in place, you're kind of stuck with it. So make sure you place it carefully. Boom, that's where we want it. We're just going to give it a good rub all over. You can see... There we go, and once you have it rubbed all over, I just use the palm of my hand or my finger. Just carefully peel up a little bit of the backing paper, and then voila. Okay, so after that, I'm gonna take my palm and go over it one more time. I wanna pop any bubbles, smooth out any wrinkles, anything like that, because that will just give you problems later, and it doesn't look so great, so. Smooth it out as best you can with your palm or a soft cloth that's lint free or whatever. I like to use my palm. And then you have a nice transfer image, which I am going to seal with, um, on this particular project, I'm using a flat top coat. You can use whatever top coat you prefer or prefer. Um, so see how it is just, it's just on there. It's a little skin almost, and you can't even see the outline or anything. Um, I, I think I'm gonna seal with flat, like I said, but you know, whatever, you can use whatever. And that is our transferred image. So 
Boom. I'm going to show you one more time on another sheet. One more time, in case you missed it the first time. But we're pros now, right? We're pros. Got this. Um, let's see, move this. All right, so here's another piece of our um, image um, on our top that we're doing. Okay, so there's another piece. This one's a little bigger. I've labeled it so I know where it goes. Um, so with our shiny side or printed side up, we're going to peel away our clear sheet, making sure that the adhesive is attached. So see how it's frosty? That's the adhesive, okay? Peel it away slowly. And I wanna keep, it's warm in here. So sometimes when it's warm, the adhesive kinda pulls a little bit and maybe doesn't come quite as cleanly off, but you can kind of coax it along with your um, hand a little bit gently. So we want to lay down our adhesive layer, sticky side down, cover our whole image, okay? And then we want to go over it, pop, smooth out any wrinkles or bubbles, make sure that adhesive is on there really well. So now that that adhesive is applied, we're gonna take off our clear sheet. That clear sheet is just a vessel for the um, adhesive to get onto the back of the transfer. So it's just a, a means for it to transfer from one sheet to another. So in this one, the adhesive wanted to come off with the clear sheet, okay? So see how it's kind of coming apart there? I am holding it in place with my finger so that it stays on the transfer side. Lay it down, keeping my finger in place to hold it in place. Peel it away gently, trash that. And textured side of the um, back of the white paper, down onto the glue or the adhesive. There we go, give it a rub. And there we go. Now we're just gonna cut out our image, leaving an eighth of an inch all the way around, roughly an eighth of an inch. Um, and let's see, looks like, it looks like um, this side right here is going on the edge of our table. So if it's going on the edge of something, I don't leave the eighth of an inch, I just cut it directly off, but let me just check, make sure that's correct first. Because I've got the other piece here. And I made, I'm, I'm lining these up, so I had to print several eight and a half by 11 sheets, so I'm lining them up, so I made a little guide here so I can reference, but looks like this side is actually going on, wait, let me see. Um, Okay, it's going like this. Yep, it goes like this. So this side is the edge of the um, <coughs> table. So I'm just gonna cut this this side flush, you know, with the with the print, and the rest will have an eighth of an inch gap all the way around it, or an eighth of an inch, um, you know, bleed we call it. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, figure out how this lines up and figure out how much I need to cut off. I don't like to overlap them because you can see the overlap. So I try to minimize that overlap and it looks like I can cut off. Wait, is it lining up? Like I said, the image was too big for one eight and a half by 11. So I kind of tiled it and I made multiple prints to the form one image. So um, I've lined it up. I'm going to take a marker. 
and I'm gonna draw right where I need to cut that off. So like I said, I don't like to overlap these because you can always see the overlap. Even on this black ink, you can still see the overlap. So I'm gonna cut it pretty flush. I may leave maybe a 32nd or a 16th of an inch, very, very tiny bit for um, just a little bit of uh, pl playroom or give, but basically it's gonna be what we call a butt seam, which means it just butts right up to the next piece. No overlapping, okay? So there's that. Let me finish cutting this apart. And I might, um, oh, this is going on the top edge, so I'm gonna cut that clean off. And let's go ahead and move over to our table. We will apply those and be all set to finish out our table. Okay, so this is where they go, right there. So I'm obviously gonna start with the top piece and um, what I wanna do is, when I'm getting ready to apply it, I wanna peel the white layer slowly away and make sure my adhesive is sticking to the image, which it is. If it wasn't, I would take my fingernail and hold it onto the image while I peel it away gently. Gently, carefully, so it doesn't flop back and stick to itself. And I wanna line it up on my flush edges. So on my, oh wait, shoot. Oh, this way. Ooh, scared me for a second. Ah, which way am I going here, this way? Yeah, sorry, I already got. Okay, so on the, my top and my my top and my right edge, I'm gonna line those up first to make sure I have it in the right spot because once you stick it, you're done. You're not gonna be able to restick it. It's one and done, one shot. You got one shot. Okay, so now I'm just gonna smooth it out. Um, if you don't think you can get it in the right spot on the first try, one and done, you can overlap or let it hang off the edge or the side just a little bit, okay? So I got about a 30 second of an inch right there hanging off the edge, so I'm just gonna take my knife, sharp knife is the key, and cut off that little edge hanging over. And you wanna do that before you pull the backing paper away because otherwise you're just gonna tear and rip your transfer and ruin your piece and cry. You know what I mean? Nobody wants that. We don't want you crying. So going over it with my palm. And then I'm gonna peel up my edge gently. Boom. So there's our piece one. Going over it with my palm. I am popping any bubbles and smoothing out any wrinkles and most likely you will have bubbles and wrinkles just a little bit, but nothing a little uh, burnishing can't take care of. So just roll over that like that. Boom, okay, so now we're ready to line up our next piece. Let's see, we're good right there. Again, peel away slowly our backing paper, make sure the adhesive is on that side. See how it's um, kind of matte, where it was glossy when from printing it? Now it's matte, because it has the adhesive on it. And this part is that textured part, not sticky, that's what you want. So peel that away gently, um, let's see. Gently place it right where it goes. Line up all the points, or all the points where it should line up. And boom, okay. There we go. Okay. Got any bubbles or wrinkles? Cool. And there you go. So see how um, my edge here, I didn't get it quite lined up perfectly on the edge. I can leave it or I can take a little bit of black paint and kind of touch that up, which is what I'm gonna do. And um, there it is. There's our home 
printed transfer constellation print. Is it pretty? And then over here, our little moon and pentagram and chain. So, um, yeah. Make sure you watch the first video if you're like, what is she talking about? This is um, just to answer any questions on the application of the glue process um, when you're printing your own transfer. So, all right. See you next time.